Kia ora, I'm Andrew Waddell, General Manager Australia for Tourism New Zealand. So I've been with Tourism New Zealand about three years now. I'm a brand marketeer by trade, previously worked in UK, South Africa and Australia for Red Bull. Um, prior to that, I worked on a number of uh, beer brands, including Stella Artois, Bex and Castlemaine Forex. The single big, biggest disruption for the advertising and uh, marketing industry is easily COVID-19 and the pandemic that swept the world. Um, it was a real leveller in knowledge and experience. As I was saying, um, you're only naive once to make the most of it. And for marketeers and business people around the world, um, the rules were completely rewritten. Um, nothing that will work before could guarantee to work in the future. So you really had to approach it with a sense of uh, really understanding what was going on, the understanding of the consumer in their context, and really how you were going to go about uh, bringing your brand to life and, and making a commercial impact for your business. So one of the questions we asked was when people can't travel, how do we keep the brand alive? We set up a framework under Prime, Ignite and Scale. And Prime was really about uh, winning consumers' hearts and minds when they couldn't travel for when they can travel in the Ignite phase, really converting that brand uh, love into the ability to travel to New Zealand in the future. One of the principles of our go-to-market was really focus on earned first and the idea of that was to ensure that we had the right spokesperson with the right messaging to land in the right context through the right uh, channels. Uh, it was really agile, it meant we could turn on a dial within you know a couple of hours um, versus a pay campaign which takes a little bit longer to produce and land in market. Um, when the context started settling for the consumer and they were able to travel that was the right time to be able to bring through a sort of a more inspiring campaign. Uh, and bringing the opportunity to travel to New Zealand to life. It's a really interesting time to be in travel. So we've gone from this period of, you know, a real growth in travel over a number of years, then no visitors, and then now, particularly for Australia and New Zealand, the opportunity to really reignite that travel uh, opportunity. Uh, so marketeers in, in travel have worked uh, in that emotional sense, you know, that, that idea of setting that desirability to, to travel overseas. But what we're also seeing is an uh, in, increase in the, the idea of rational uh, requirements. So what does it look like when I travel? What, what things do I need to think about from a COVID perspective? And that has changed our um, understanding of the role that we've got to play in encouraging people to travel, inspiring them, but then also making sure that they've got everything sorted out for when they are actually on the ground. We use a hybrid model for the setup and structure of our marketing services. We find getting best in class talent across creative media, uh, storytelling and channels is critical. Um, An open and transparent working relationships and setting a really high bar and high aspiration for the most uh, creative execution we can bring to market. One of the things that stands out from, from New Zealand's marketing and its storytelling I think is its ability to bring humour through and not take itself too seriously. We've seen that show up in social channels, whether it be uh, police videos uh, and social activity, but also through Tourism New Zealand campaigns as well. Plan Z was the first virtual walkthrough of a whole country uh, using video game or video game as a storytelling device. Um, so really innovative way of bringing to life a country's people and place and the feeling of embrace of a country, but through a video game. Getting close to consumer insights continues to be critical to the travel industry. No one's really sure what the future is going to look like. So we really got to understand the consumer in context. What we mean by that is that we really, really understand what their needs are now uh, and work to anticipate what that looks like. We find with technology partners, if we're able to match new technology with those consumer insights, that's when the magic happens and we're able to provide a new sort of setup for the consumer to engage and hopefully create that desire and ability to travel in the future. Mm -hmm.